kind of uh, designs I make, I want to tell stories that are simple and symbolic. I want them to reveal fantasy, passion, beauty and uh, capture emotions. It's my attempt always. I strive to create pieces that are distinctive, innovative and uh, a signature of mom's style. I love Floydian movement. I find a very special language in geometry and mathematics that equally fascinates me. For me, inspiration can come from anywhere, uh, whether it is our natural world or it's the geometry and things I see around, whether it is art, architecture, history, fashion. There are multiple influences. Uh, and these influences tend to stay with me and over time become an occupation of my mind. And that's a great thing because when these ideas collide and interconnect, that's what feels very special for me to explore and expand into a piece of my own work. My inspiration for Canoe Canadian Diamond Necklace came from the incredibly magical and poetic Canadian landscape. Canoe is uh, a carrier of Canadian myths. It is a symbol very unique to Canada that represents voyage, harmony with nature, discovery and courage. It's one of the greatest gifts the First Nation people gave to all of us who came after. The necklace comes together with two diamond studded lines that embrace the neck that represents the fluidity of the lake. There are intersecting lines if you come at the mid section of the necklace and on top of that there are ideal square cut diamonds that are studded and that depicts the chunks of floating ice. You come down and the necklace culminates into a canoe shaped element that is concaved and has uh, uh, facets and diamonds. My idea was to create an icy crystalline look and the idea was to have these facets and diamonds reflect on the opposite sides for dramatic shine, play of light and maximum brilliance. Canadian downs are incredibly stunning as pure as fresh fallen snow and just for me to know that they come from my own backyard is incredibly inspiring. We know the pedigree of Canadian diamonds. They are mined to the highest ethical environmental, environmental standards and they are conflict free. So for me as a Canadian artist that's a cause for celebration and great pride. It's an honor and a great privilege for me to represent Canadian diamonds in Rio Tinto Diamonds Global Design Competition as a Canadian Diamonds Master Craftsman.